Okay, and welcome to the conclusion of the Great Infrastructure Day, as I sort of have called it. Basically, what we wanted to do here today, as you can see, the weather's still pretty stellar. It's a bit of an Indian summer. But we wanted to prep up for winter, and so it's a combination of things. The main thing is something that isn't immediately obvious if you've seen earlier videos here. But stepping into this, I'll sort of adjust the view here, and sort of stepping in, everything you see down here where the uh, bark and the walking stones are, this has actually all been redone. Now you can't tell, except maybe in the difference in shade, you can sort of see there at the bottom of the screen that you've got sort of you know lighter bark and then there's sort of darker bark there. The darker bark is the new bark we put in. We've added in a lot more bark, but what you can't see is what's under it. And you can sort of half tell if you sort of catch little bits and pieces here, but sort of hard. Although I'll sort of focus in on you can sort of see over there that white strip. That's part of a number of bags, plastic bags, garbage bags, bags where some of the bark and compost was held, and so on and so forth, that have all been laid down under everywhere where you see bark. Now, this is how it was set up with the old bark over here. I'm sort of looking at the older part of this garden where we put this in back at the start of the year. And it turned out to be so successful, we wanted to replicate it over here so that we wouldn't have to spend so much time weeding because it pretty much keeps the weeds down. If you put down the black bags like that and then you put the bark over it, then no matter how much wet and how much sun comes in, pretty much you can't get a weed to get a toehold simply because there's nowhere for the weeds to grow. They can't get any they can't get any uh, sunlight, they can't get any supply, and that keeps it nice there. And I'll do a quick focus over here to say that we have a friendly little ladybird right there in the center of the shot, and we hope that there are more of them as they eat up all the aphids, so good on them. So that was the major part of the day. That took about a good two hours' work to get everything down, but myself and Marianne and Tara, who are all here, have all been working on that. Marianne right now is just over there doing some work on putting in some cabbage and some snow peas. We've also got a new winter tomato plant that I'll walk over to in a sec. That's the only real planting we've done today. Otherwise, it's just been maintenance with uh, the roses. You can sort of see along here, the roses still coming in and coming in right over there. And we have the artichokes right here, which really haven't flourished in the full sense that there are no artichoke fruits or anything. But uh, it'll be the type of thing maybe later in the winter and maybe in spring. So just to sort of keep it going. So we'll just keep it some maintenance there. I'm going to step out and away. So over here in the old part of the garden, as you can see, still some carrots going. And over here, not much. It's sort of now empty. It's sort of like a place where you put some old you know, cages and things set up like that. Zucchini, though, as you can see, still going away crazily. We still have some more zucchini plants that have come in. Tara grabbed one earlier. And then over here, still some basil, which probably should do some snipping there, uh, and more zucchini and so forth. Uh, there's the new uh, cabbage that's been placed in, and up there are the snow peas. So the place where the pumpkin was, the crazy pumpkins are now long gone. Uh, the tomato plants over here, we're still getting in some uh, tomatoes, as you can see. Still some more coming in, so uh, some late season stuff, and a couple ones turning red there, sort of in the center of the shot. And the new tomatoes, I'm going to walk around here, just around on the other side, and come in. And so these are the new tomatoes right here in the center of this one, just placed right down there. And they apparently are a Siberian brand. They're designed to thrive in winter conditions. And in winter conditions here in Southern California being so much better than winter conditions in Siberia, the guess is that these will do probably pretty nicely. So we'll basically see. It's sort of a test, but we'll take it from there. A uh, more, little more basil tucked away right there. And sort of a back view here, just looking down into the zucchini and some of the other stuff. But again, that's sort of where we're at. So there's the full view there. So again, it doesn't look like much change, but major changes have been done thanks to the uh, thanks to putting down all the plastic, all the uh, plastic bags. Now we're placing all this area, so we're really hoping for that. Keeping an eye on the roses as per usual, and uh, they seem to still be going well. So we'll see. This is probably the last major full-on work day for the rest of the calendar year, at least. Um, there'll be maintenance. Uh, we're still planning on coming out here. Some combination of us once or twice a week, keeping on things when the rains fully kick in. We'll see where things go from there. And we got a really lovely beetle flying around there. Whoops, it's sort of away. But uh, sorry, I couldn't get a shot of that. It's sort of zooming around. And uh, oh, there it sort of is. Eh, never mind. <laughs> sort of gone. Probably just saw a smear on the screen. Anyway, so that's the garden for this time. And uh, we're trying to have in uh, some more garden coverage again before the end of the calendar year, just to sort of see how some of this uh, new stuff here is coming in and all that. And until I talk to you next time, that's it for now. See ya.